Hola y bienvenidos. Today we are leaving our Airbnb in Cusco. We have packed up all of our bags. Yes, we're leaving this lovely Airbnb and we're heading into the Sacred Valley so that we can get closer and closer to Machu Picchu and we're gonna explore so much more. Tres minutos. They're in a blue Kia Rio. Check the back seat there. Yes, yes. Hello. Welcome to our next Airbnb in Oyentai Tambo. So for $13 a night, we get our own private room and also a wonderful outdoor balcony area. And then coming this way, we also have our own private bath, which is very nice, super spacious, and a great place to sleep at night for a really good deal. Can't get over the price of this place. Home sweet home, you have reached your destination. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> so we have checked in, settled in, and now we're gonna go explore some ruins. Yes, and so in our last video, you saw that we bought these special tourist tickets and we have only checked one of them off and it was at Saksai Huaman and today we are going to check off another one. So just two minutes from our hostel are the ruins of Ointai Tambo and we are going to climb all the way up and show you guys the city of Oyente Tambo from above. Hopefully Claire took her iron pill, did you? I did take my iron pill. Oh, cool. All right, so we're good to go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's so bright. Gracias. Gracias. All right, so we have just made it to the Oin Taitambo ruins. And behind me, you can see a ton of little stones and they're actually stones that were used to build the ruins up there. But when the Spanish came and destroyed the ruins like they did with Saxoipomon, they actually tossed the stones all the way down here. And now they lay on the grass in the welcoming area. <laughs> <laughs> wow, here's some more on this side. I guess they stack them nicely in a nice square. So here we have some openings in the wall and these are actually purposely built for holding their idols. So they had some gold idols, some silver idols, and they would just sit right here. So many idol holes. So behind me is the Temple of the Sun, and similar to Saksai Huaman and Machu Picchu, the Incas decided to build this on top of a mountain so that they can see any invaders that are coming their way. So right where I'm standing, you can actually see three different valleys. So on the left, there are some ruins through that valley. In front of us are the Pisac ruins, and then to my right are the Machu Picchu ruins. So that's really cool that you can see all three valleys from this one spot, and that definitely helped them when they were looking out for invaders. The tour groups are coming. Got a cute little room here for all their idols. <laughs> <laughs> so many spots available. So on my left is a mountain that is adjacent to the mountain that we are standing on right now. And on that mountain are two special things. So first of all, there is a face and that is actually the god Tulupa who represents abundance. And then right next to him is a series of storage houses. And what you're probably wondering is why are these storage houses built so high on a mountain? And that is actually for two reasons. So number one, it is to help refrigerate the food because it is at higher elevation. It does keep the food cooler and it will help it stay fresh for longer. And then the second 
second reason is they can actually watch to see if any invaders are going to go steal their food, so it is for safekeeping. All right, so we've made it back down, and a little tip for you guys is if you want to avoid the crowds, definitely come before 2 p.m. Um, that's when we came, and we actually were able to hike all the way up to the top, and there weren't a lot of people. But then once we were at the top, enjoying the view, we could see buses and buses of people being unloaded. So definitely something to note. But now it is becoming the afternoon, the sun is setting, and it's just really nice out. That's so cool. So it is currently August 2021 and due to COVID a couple of the sites are closed off to the public. So when we hiked up to the Temple of the Sun we could have actually gone a little bit farther to Inca Watana. However we could not go this time but I did want to tell you a little bit of the history there because I think it's kind of cool. So once you get to Inca Watana there are actually these huge rocks with these cavities that kind of look like those cavities that we showed you earlier for their idols. However these cavities are a little bit bigger because they are actually human sized because it is presumed that that is where they did some human sacrifice. So if you actually look at the cavities, there are holes on the left and the right and they apparently line up perfectly with arms. So they essentially, they would be tied up to the rocks and then they would be sacrificed to either the god of the sun or to Apu Veronica, which is a glacier. And so I thought that was really interesting and unfortunately we couldn't see it this time, but if you do come, you should definitely check it out. So this entire city has a wonderful water system. So everywhere you walk, you just hear running water and it's really, really peaceful and I absolutely love it. We have found our dinner spot and they're having a happy hour and actually a lot of places here have happy hour but basically you get two pisco sours for 15 soles which is around like three to four dollars pretty great deal so to start off we both got a sandwich and it cost us three soles for one of these and that's 75 cents <laughs> and it's a big sandwich it's like a burger honestly for scale take a bite Oh wow, that's really good. It's like really good cooked chicken breast with french fries inside and lettuce, tomato, good deal. And then we also got a Lomo Saltado to share and it should be around 5 US dollars, so 20 soles. Too good of a deal, it was too tasty, we got another one. <laughs> All right, so we are walking back to our Airbnb. Dinner was absolutely delicious. I think we're gonna be going back there pretty much all week. It was so <laughs> good. Yes. Maybe even better than Chick-fil-A, <laughs> dare I say. <laughs> then we also went to the market and got some fruit, got some apples and some bananas just to hold us over since we don't have a kitchen at our Airbnb anymore. Hola. 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 to our hostel and Chad has got us some lovely coca tea yes. and I don't think we've told you guys about this tea before but basically you get all these dried leaves called mm -hmm. the coca and you put some hot water in it and it makes this really delicious tea that kind of tastes like green tea is what I would compare it to. What do you think? I think okay it's kind of like green tea but it has more of a grass taste. Yeah so if you <laughs> smell it it smells like freshly, freshly cut grass. Yeah freshly yeah. cut grass. Also, another interesting thing is if you do come to Peru and you get the coca leaves, don't bring them back home because they are illegal to bring back to the U.S. because 
I believe you can make cocaine out of them. I think that is also why they have the helpful effects with altitude is because it's, I guess, similar to cocaine, but very, very mild. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Right, so they have this here because it helps with altitude sickness and also just helps with headaches, stomach aches, and it's a very great medicinal tea. Any fun memories from today? Since I have been to these ruins before, but it was your first time. My favorite part of today was to stand at the point where you could see the three valleys, because each valley was just very different. I did not like the tourists and the buses and buses of people that came in after us. We were so stressed that they were going to catch up, and then they finally did. <laughs> Like oh, I didn't like yes. the Oh, me, a tourist. We don't like Ooh. the tourist. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for tea time with Chad and Claire. <laughs> I think we are going to end it early tonight, and we will see you guys sometime tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hola y buenos tardes, everybody. Um, we are actually heading over to the Pinkaluna ruins, which is gonna be really fun. It's on that other side of the mountain that we pointed out yesterday, and it's those storage containers. So let's head out now. When I find an outlet, when I find an outlet, I'm gonna plug myself in. I'll plug myself in. When I turn the light out, when I turn the light, Talk myself, yeah. Talk so sadly, the hike is actually closed. So instead, we're gonna walk to a soccer field and see if anything's going on there. So we just finished watching two soccer games and it was honestly such a nice way to spend our Sunday afternoon. The light coming through the valley was incredible. The players were really good. They're about like 40 to 50 years old, I would guess, but they are like going for it. Honestly, like they could have broken bones playing the way that they were playing today. There are a lot of dogs running around. There were people selling uh, chicha morada and these like little popsicle things. So it was just a really local and fun thing to do. And I felt like we were just really part of the community. Also, from where we were sitting, we had perfect views of both of the ruins in the city. So there was the Ointon Tambo ruins, and then also the Pinkle Yuna ruins that we didn't get to see, but it was amazing. Like, I couldn't believe that. It was just a perfect view of literally everything. Like, the mountains surrounding us are incredible. It's so pretty. You want chicken? Yeah. You want chicken? Yeah, chicken and then that other one. Uh, uno y uno. Yeah. That's this. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? Uh, dos salidas. ¿Eh? ¿Cuánto? Gracias. The dog wants our food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to eat. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> We got these skewers from this vendor 
and it looks really good. There's one that has chicken, and then I believe that one should either be pork or beef, but we aren't sure. And they each have a little potato on the top of it. <laughs> and then there was this green sauce that we put inside of the bag, and it was really scary with the dog following us for a while. Yeah. I honestly didn't know if it was going to get aggressive, so we decided to come back to the Airbnb because you don't want to take that risk. <laughs> You don't want to get bitten. Which one would you like to try first? Um, either one. Also, these were um, four fifty soles, like yeah. four dollars fifty cents soles. Yep. So they were about a dollar US. Mmm. The sauce is really good. The green sauce. Mmm. -hmm. The sauce is good. It kind of tastes like the Indian herb sauce mm -hmm. that came with the guinea pig. Totally. Wow, that is very. Ooh, that's good. Chewy. Interesting texture. Mm -hmm. It's like it's not chewy. It's crunchy. Crunchy? Chewy crunchy. Yeah. Definitely like an intestine, I think. Yeah, it's definitely not the prime cut of meat. So we actually went down in elevation when we came to Ointai Tambo. So we've been sleeping really well. And also, I think just because the altitude's lower, I've been able to breathe a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And overall, I feel better. Yeah, I do. Like hiking around, I'm not as out of breath as I was in Cusco. Mm -hmm. So that's been really great. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. So last night, we got those really good chicken sandwiches from that restaurant and we went back today and we got five of them for lunch and we have one left so we're also going to split that for dinner. Well guys thank you so much for joining us in Oye Tan... Oye Tan Tambo? Oye Tan Tambo. Oye Tan... Oye... 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 Thank you guys for joining us here. Can you do the outro? Oye Tan Tambo. Thank you guys so much for joining us in Oye Tan Tambo. In the next video, we're going to go explore some special spots in the Sacred Valley, and we really do hope that you guys can join us there. And so if you want to follow along on our adventure, hit subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. And we will see you guys next time. Goodbye!